Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing this week? How was your week? Uh, another week, uh, another great week. Um, before we start our picks or the cards that I picked up this week, I want to say, and if two of you are listening to this, we need you, buddy. We need you more than ever right now. The Dolphins are struggling. They lost again today against the Vikings. The offense looks out of sync. Uh, the defense played great. Um, first half of the of the game, the defense played outstanding. Uh, but there is their offense is completely right now. They're out of sync. We need Tua back in the helm. We need Tua back leading this team to where they're supposed to go. And hopefully next week you can play. I know a concussion. Um, whoever has a, had had a concussion knows that it's uh, it's uh, it does damage to your brain. And but it's part of the sport. Um, thank God you know you're okay. Thank God that you know you passed through these two weeks that you had a concussion in both of those weeks. And you know we want you safe and we want you you know healthy. Uh, but this team needs you right now. This team needs you to guide them back to the winning land, the winning ways. Um, I've watched Miami Dolphin football for more than 35 years. I believe I went to my first game in Miami when I was 10 years old. And they look like the Miami Dolphins of old. The same out of sync offense, uh, you know, playing good, kind of good defense, but the offense looks out of sync. Uh, with this offense potential that they have right now, with Tariq, with Jalen, with Jaseki, with the running backs, guys, we should be dominating the league right now. We should, you know, you started 3-0, and uh, everything was on a rise, and all of a sudden, dropped. So, with that being said, welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, it was a great week. Um, I was in the... We did not do a show this week, this weekend. Um, I actually took the weekend off. Um, so uh, we did not do a show. The only shows that there were, they were a little far. And I wanted to spend some family time here uh, in Orlando. So uh, these are the picks. I did pick up on some stuff through stores here in Orlando, through friends, through eBay, through Mercari. Uh, and if you're listening, guys, you know, maybe you could uh, do something to help the channel. So um, I picked up a couple of, I picked up a lot of nice stuff. Uh, I've been buying Tariq. I've been uh, putting him into my own personal collection. So I picked up a lot of those uh, stuff. And so stuff that I'm going to take to shows. And I want to talk to you about the shows. I've seen, and a lot of these dealers are a little... I wouldn't say scared, but the hobby has always had its up and down. Uh, for a few years there, you know, maybe five, six, seven, eight years, the hobby was completely lost. It came back with the pandemic. We have more people in the hobby right now than I've ever been. So to those dealers out there, listen, this is not, if you do this for the money, uh, everything that you do without passion or without love for it, eventually it's going to overcome you. So by that being said, this is something that we enjoy. I enjoy the cards, whether they're selling or they're not selling. I'm still going to buy cards. I'm still going to buy the players that I like, that I enjoy watching. And whether we do good in in, in you know, in shows, well, you know what? I Thank God I don't live out of shows. I don't live out of cards. The cards is my hobby. So I'm enjoying. This is the moment that actually I get to enjoy. I have a, a you know, I'm an owner of a cabinet business here in Orlando. Uh, we do kitchens all over Orlando, even back south and up to Jacksonville. And let me tell you, my job is a very stressful uh, it comes to dealing with people and, and, and you know, a lot of 
personalities, even with those that work for me. But this is the moment that I enjoy. I enjoy when it's the weekend, we have a card show, especially when I have my son or one of my sons coming with me. I enjoy that father-son uh, time. If you haven't seen uh, the YouTube video I posted, uh, Clearwater Show was probably, I, I think I sold one card in the whole show. But I had the best time because I got to spend it with my son. A lot of the young people these days, they don't appreciate, you know, the father or the mother, or they don't like to spend time with them because they think that we're old or that we're from another generation. This generation is unique. So the time that you get to spend with them, enjoy it. Enjoy it. And when you got a time to spend a couple of days with your son, whether it's fishing, whether it's, um, you know, uh, doing what he likes to do. You know what? Enjoy and precious that time because they don't come often. So to me, it was the greatest show because I got to spend a few days with my son, talk to him, guide him, uh, explain to him things that, you know, life, it's all about. Always teach your kids. Remember, they're, they're going to do or they're going to be part of what you teach them. It's our job to teach them and to teach them manners and to teach them in the ways that, you know, the world is it's going to be for them. So, you know, uh, so like I said, if you haven't seen it, please go to Let's Talk Sports Card. Follow us and, and uh, subscribe to the channel. And, you know, uh, we got to enjoy it. We got to enjoy it. And this hobby is to enjoy it. This hobby brings back the memories of when I used to watch Michael, when I used to watch, you know, Kobe, you know, let him rest in peace. And those are the players that, you know, wow, I, I, they were part of my life, a moment of my life that I enjoy uh, doing. So uh, leaving you with that, enjoy every moment. God, uh, be thankful to God for the things that he gives you. Uh, and let me tell you, enjoy your time here. We have a very little time in this life. We have a little time with our family, with our children. Don't, don't let the small things bother you. Don't let the small things take away, you know, your happiness and be in a sad or an angry moment. No, enjoy it. Let things, it's not always how we, things are going to turn out the way we want it to do, you know. But you know what? The only thing, the Bible says that my strength is, you know, my happiness. Why? Because you're going to act from a moment of peace in your heart. So I leave you with that. The Bible, please teach your kids about the Bible. I mean, those are the good, strong things that a man has. The, the word says, not only of bread, the men will live. But through all the words that come out of God's mouth. So what are we saying? You know, it's better to be one day in peace than a thousand years in upsetness, sickness, angry. So enjoy each moment like it's your last moment. Because it could be your last moment. So finishing with that, I'm going to bring out the cards that I picked up this week. I'm going to start off with this. Uh, I bought a lot. And this I got it on eBay. Of Tariq Hill Hyper uh, Prism. These are beautiful looking cards. I picked up a lot of 20. Um, I can think I wanted for like $14. So I picked up 20 of them. Uh, these are, I want to keep for myself. The other ones I'll take to the shows. But that was a pretty nice pickup. At the show in Clearwater, I picked up um, out of 125. A Prism Black J.K. Doggins. Um, always thought since I saw him that this guy was going to be a monster, another beast, another Derrick Henry. Uh, he's coming back from injury. But this card is amazing on a PSA 10. Um, it's numbered out of 125. So I picked this up. Gorgeous card. Also in that lot that I picked up at the show, the Giants are a surprising team. Surprising. I, I don't know how they're doing right now, but uh, they they came into the game today, Sunday, at four, being 4-1. Four they're a surprise. So I picked up a beautiful 
Phantom Prism Sequin Barkley from Select on a PSA 10. Gorgeous looking card. Um, I picked this up. Uh, remember the, in the shows before that for some reason I was buying the Giants. And look, they're 4-1 right now. I don't know if they won today. But uh, they're doing, actually, they're impressing the league and surprising the league. Um, I picked up some soccer cards. And this was my son's idea. He likes soccer. He plays soccer. But he said these guys are going to be doing great in the World Cup. Uh, in a few, I think it's a month from now. I believe it's November 21st. The World Cup will begin. And let me tell you guys, the hype for soccer, I believe is gonna rise because of the World Cup. Four years from this year, the World Cup, I believe is gonna be here in the USA. So you know what guys, it's time to start picking up soccer cards, putting them away. I believe it's the sport that's gonna rise more in the near future. And with that, this is a 20 year old Asante Fati. Uh, jersey autograph, warm jersey uh, out of 75. Gorgeous looking card. I know it's on a PSA 8, but these are the thick, thick cards and they're very hard to find on the 9s and 10s. But on, other than that, a great looking card. Uh, don't know much about soccer, but my I believe my son, I trust my son. And this is another one. This is a, a PSA 9. And this is Gabriel Jesus. Um, also an autogram from Obsidian on a PSA 9. And this one is numbered out of 149. So this is a great pickup. These I'm going to put away. Even though he said that I should flip them right now. But let's wait until soccer begins. Let's wait until uh, the World Cup begins. And we'll see how... We do with soccer cards. Uh, next on the list, um, I was surprised a little bit by the Jaguars. So I, I always believe that James Robinson had a great career in the NFL. I've seen him play, and let me tell you, he's a powerful back. So I picked up an RPA rookie out of 75 of select of James Robinson. Uh, great looking card. I picked that up. Uh, I believe this was an eBay. I got this. So good looking card. Also with that deal, I picked up an RPA of James Robinson Spectra. Uh, and this one is also out of, I believe, 75. So great looking card. So I got those just in case, you know, they, they do something. Um... Or they actually move into the playoffs. I believe people will start falling in them. Uh, my next pickup. Uh, one of the cards that doesn't sell much. But I believe they, the, 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 the way that the cards are made are so beautiful. And it's the Crown Royale Joe Burrow Rookie. Uh, these cards are amazingly looking. Uh, I know they're not very common. I don't see them much. At the shows or people, you know, but they're other, you know, they're great looking cards, amazing looking cards. Um, and I picked up this Joe Burrow uh, on a PSA 9 that is a rookie of Joe Burrow. I did a pickup at the show as well. Uh, my boy Cole Anthony from here, the Orlando Magic, I picked up his downtown uh, card, uh, still on a college, North Carolina jersey. But other than that, it's still a great looking card on a PSA 9. Great pickup on that. I know this player is uh, having a low or he's struggling this year. But I believe in the second part of the season, Mr. Kyler Murray is going to come back and pick up. I picked up a Phantom Prism rookie PSA 10 on a select. What a great looking cards these are, guys. Uh, out of the select uh, brand, uh, gorgeous on a PSA 10. Also picked up the uh, Sensation Prism, Kyle Murray, silver on a PSA 
10 as well. And now we leave the best for last. Um, I've been buying my Dolphin players as I collect. So at the show, I picked up a couple of uh, silver prisms of uh, Jalen Waddle. Uh, I believe I'm gonna send these to PSA. They look great. Centering surface looks amazing. So these will be leaving probably uh, to PSA. Also, I will bring a footage of what we got in some of the cards that I'm gonna send to PSA. If you didn't know, PSA right now is $18 uh, per grading. So guys, take advantage of the new products to start grading. At the show, I picked up a Jalen Water Pink Cameo. Pink Mosaic on a PSA 10. Um, for my collection of Jalen Waddle. And I picked up a lot of nine, uh, PSA nine, of the Jalen Waddle Donruss base. Um, I picked up three of these on a PSA nine slab. Um, and I like PSA nine. And, and I'll tell you why I like PSA nine. I like PSA nine because collectors want to have the card. Don't want to spend four or five, six hundred dollars. Uh, you know, I don't know. How do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? Do you, do you find yourself as an investor, as a collector, as a flipper? How do you see yourself? Have you say, ask that question to yourself? I collect. I don't want to spend, you know, a hundred dollars on a PSA 10 if I'm going to keep the card for myself. If I want it, I'd rather get it in a nine. Uh, I pay 40, 50 bucks less and have it for my own collection because they're for me. They're for me to watch. They're not for sale. Those are for my collection, my own PC. So if you're an investor, then I, I think you need to take it to the next level, which is, you know, buying the PSA 10 for an investment purpose or the grading part. Try to get the cards to send them yourself to see if you can get those PSA 10s, and then you could flip them for a lot more money um, than, than a raw card. So my next pickups, uh, I've been doing this set for, for about a few months now, and I almost got them all. I hadn't shown them yet because they were personal. So I've been buying Tariq Hill Prism cards. Uh, I picked up the silver prism on a PSA 9, the red, white, and blue disco on a PSA 9, and I picked up the orange on a PSA 9. I'm missing a few to complete the entire color collection of Tariq Hill. Um, I don't know if you've seen my other videos. You've seen the, the one of one of the absolute that I have of Tariq. I picked up, uh, this was at a store, a blue prism uh, Tariq numbered out of 199. Look at this amazing card, guys. Um, amazing looking card. It is numbered to 199 on a PSA 9. I picked up a crack ice blue Tariq Hill out of 99. And this one is going to be set as uh, sent to PSA as well. Uh, the centering of the card looks great. Uh, surface looks great. So I'll we'll keep an eye on what did I get on these grades. And my last, this is a sealed ruby out of 20 flawless. Tariq here, what an amazing looking card out of 20. I picked up this at the show. So those were the picks, uh, the cards that I picked up this week. Uh, we're always buying. If you want to sell your collection, please contact me. Send me a text. Send me a message down below that you're selling your collection. we we'll always be buying. Uh, no matter if the hobby is up or is down. Um, I know that now that it's down, it actually has more room to grow, more room. Uh, look, guys, at the end of the day, Sports have been part of our life 
since a very long time. Uh, we have baseball, we have basketball, we have hockey, we have football. So for all these years, we've been following players and players have been part of our lives. So what makes you think that now that the market is a little down, that it's not gonna pick up back up? We have it in our blood, it's part of our lives. Uh, we're fans, so we always gonna have that chip, that little seed that was uh, planted in us about sports car collecting. So then don't let yourself get down, don't let yourself get discouraged about the prices, about what is happening. Enjoy the hobby, enjoy it, enjoy. Do it for your enjoyment, for the same reason that you did it when you were young, when your father, you know, taught you how to open a pack, or when you went to the store with your dad, or whatever the reason may be. That's the reason why we enjoy the sports car. Please guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so now, help the channel grow. I wanna bring more content from other, other shows outside Florida, outside Central Florida, I believe. I wanna start doing shows outside. So I gotta see how my schedule is with my company to see how I could put myself and bring you content from other shows. Also, please put, uh, give us a like, leave us a, a message down below of items that you wanna see or content that you wanna hear about. The only thing I could tell you, man, don't get discouraged about, you know, the hobby being down. If you are in the stock market, the stock market is completely down. So, but it always come back. It always come back. So stay collecting, stay positive. Don't, don't let the little things bother you. Don't let yourself get angry. From the abundance of your heart, your life will be. So if you're upset, you're gonna have an upset week. You're gonna have an upset day. So I leave you with that. Take everything in the positive way, not the negative way. God is good, God gave you life, enjoy it. Keep collecting the players that you like. Keep collecting the cards that you like. And stay tuned for the next video coming soon.